I know you're coming. Let us be ready at all times, because we don't know the time, the, the time, the day, the night, whatever, but you will be coming soon. Father, let us all be ready and just wait and wait on you until you do, Lord. But let us just listen and obey your word, your will, and your way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Scope a minute and 13 yes. seconds. Bless the Lord. Mm. Bless the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's right, Mom. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Yet again, another day the Lord has blessed us to be here amongst each other to glorify and magnify His name. Yeah. <coughs> so we know that grace will save us. For the Lord said, as for us, we were dead in our transgressions and sins in which we used to live when we followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of air, the spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgression. It is by grace we have been saved. God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realm in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Jesus Christ. For it is by grace we have been saved through faith and this is not from ourselves. It is the gift of God, not by work, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ, to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. For the Lord instructed us to Open to me the gates of your heart. I will come unto you, and I will praise the Lord. Therefore, I shall love the Lord, as we all should love the Lord. Because he heard my voice and my prayers, as well as he hears y'all. And he turned his ear unto me. Therefore, shall I call upon him, as long as I live. Oh yes, the Lord has chastised me much, but he has not given death the power over me. I rejoice all the more gladly. Blessed are they. They are not dragged away into sin, for when they have studied and showed proof, they shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord promised unto those that love him. Divinely favored are they here that hear and obey the word of the Lord, and that seek God with all their heart, and not just with their mouth. 
for this very reason is why we preach the gospel. That those who are dead might be judged according to flesh and that they might live because of the Holy Spirit. I say unto you, let not your feelings, your emotions, be your power, but let God be your strength. Amen. Say it again, because we all get caught up. Let not your emotions and your feelings be in control of you, but let God be in control of you. Amen. Not by my own power am I filled with his strong food. I must practice daily on God's purpose for me. God trains me by the spirit which he has given to me so that I may know the difference between good and evil as he does for all who walk his way. To those who produce thorns and briars, you are rejected by God. Their life is a curse and their end is to be sh charred remains, nothing left but ashes. Let's consider man, birth, life, and death. Without Jesus, you will die, and your ending will be like everyone else who didn't have God. What a tragic thing it is to know that our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who came out of the wilderness to show those who were lost the way, yet more people will reject his salvation and continue to walk in the way of destruction and die. For if you live, it is only because of God. And if you die, it is only because of God. It is only because of God because he is in control of all. Why continue to be those who believe that just because God created us and loves us, that he won't hate those and kill those who do not honor and respect him? Don't be like those. It will not be so, I say again. You will not live any true goodness of life without God. You will accomplish nothing. You will complain, you will wage war, but also tremble at the wrath he will bring upon you from others. Then you will die in your own foolishness. You will never know that the whole time it was the Lord God who cut you down. It was God who struck you. And he does not pity those who know him not, but continue in the ways of their sins. He will not brush tears away from your eyes when you suffer from all the pain he will bring upon you. So let the labor of your love grow with that full assurance of God's grace being worked into your life as you work for God so that we can approach the throne of grace with confidence, finding grace to help us in our time of need finding God who is always there to pour out his grace upon those who do his will. Let's do God. Let's get saved by his grace because his grace was sufficient enough for all of us. No one is greater than anyone else. But with God's grace, we're all the same because we all follow him. And blessed be the Lord. I just want to say uh, bless to everybody who's coming out today. I know you took time for the Lord. You didn't have to. But um, time is coming. I just want everybody to know <coughs> how cr truly grateful I am to see everybody, even the elders today, their health, their, their thoughts, just their peace that I see in each and every one of you. Just the love, you know. Even when Mother Mama Vera came in, we were just full of love, Mama Vera. <laughs> you see your beautiful face. And I know personally, Mama, I love you dearly, too. And uh, I'm just so grateful to see you, beautiful. And uh, I know all of us are. 
I know Mama Ida and all of us, we pray for you. We pray for everyone in here, too. And uh, we just want you all to know we truly do love you. As apostles, I know personally me, I pray for you all every day. You're always in my prayers. And in my warm hugs and my warm arms, I'm always thinking of you. So I want you all to know you keep going, you keep praying, you wake up every morning and give him glory for those aches and pains even. Those aches and pains that will get you through the day and show you who God truly is even. So I just want you all to know I love you all dearly. And I know he loves you even more. Right. Bless you all. Bless the Lord. Wow. Can you see what the Lord has done? Hey, just the, the Lord is amazing, and I, and I say that again because I know where I came from, and I tell you that our God is a mighty God. Um, like she said again, hello, Mother Rose. It's good to see you again. Um, each and every one of you guys are our family. Yeah. You're our family in God. Yeah. And, and, and I mean that truly. I mean that every anyone that's in here that will hear his word because, mm. you know, I, I, I know that everybody has their own type of religions and, 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 and this building has 50 different religions to go through. I just represent the church of God. Amen. All I represent is the Father. Yeah. And, and, and anyone in here that's been coming in here and listens to these words, they will know that it's, it's not like any other place. It's not going to be like but what God has it to be. And so when I tell you guys to hold on, and I tell you guys that he got me at the last moment mm -hmm. to warn everyone, hold on. Mm -hmm. Look who he brought up out of the grave. Hold on. He's coming soon. Yeah. It's just like, like like Jesus said. It's going to be like the only sign you're going to get is like the days of Jonah yeah. in the well. He put him in a bigger spirit, and he could have died. Jonah should have been dead. But the Lord saved them by this big old fish. And we know fish means spirit. This big old spirit that Jonah's sitting in. And he should have been dead. And he said, all I wanted you to do, Jonah, was to go out there and warn nine bay that I'm about to bring disaster. So when he rose me up, and he said, now, the same way, I'm going to raise you up. And you go warn everybody. And I said, but Lord, ain't nobody going to believe me. Ain't nobody going to want to listen to me. Everybody's going to think I'm foolish. They're going to they're gonna say, why is he looking the way he's looking? Why is he talking the way he's talking? And the Lord said, because it's important to him. Mm -hmm. So you guys, hold on. Believe. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Lord will get them, though, won't he? Amen. They'll have them here for a minute, and then they'll say, I don't want to hear no more. But then they don't wonder why they wumble them through the hallways and just complain, 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 complain. The Lord won't let them rest. So keep it. Hold on to it. Yeah. Yeah. He, is, he is your rest. He, he is your comfort. You know, these bodies can't comfort us, and can't nobody whisper in our ear and comfort us. Can't nobody hold us enough to comfort us. But God can. And he says, just by your faith. That's all. It's by your faith. Every, everybody has to work off their own faith with God. Their grace according to their faith. Everybody has to work off of it. Everybody in here, we should all be healed, but we're human. So, so, so that little bit of human in us has us doubt. So we're, we're going to always be afflicted with something. But God say that, that, again, like she said, he ain't killed us. We're still here living. Yeah. There's kids dying now. There's people that y'all have outlived that y'all probably thought, man, I can't believe I outlived them. Yeah. But there's a reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he coming back soon. So, so we, we probably won't have to see no dirt before he come back. And that's a guarantee. I keep telling y'all that. And so far, we haven't lost one yet. I've been, I've been up in here almost seven months telling y'all guys, we all going together, and the Lord ain't let us lose one yet. Not one has died on us yet. And that's because we're going together. Believe that. Mommy, you want to press out real quick? Bless the Lord. Right. We just got to stand over here this time. But I just had to see everybody. That's all right. Let's bow our head in prayer. Father, here I go again, but you know, I'm all, as long as I'm calling on you, <laughs> I know you just love me for what I do, Lord. As long as I do it in your way, your will, be I just want to thank you for the word that we have received today, Lord. Let us abide by the words that we hear that come from you. So it help us go a little bit longer, Lord. Walking with you in everything that we do, Lord. Just let us continue to keep it on walking, 
talking, listening, and obeying your word, your will, and your way. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord.